Okay, this is going to be a quick introduction to the content management system. Basically, a content management system is how you can control the site without having any knowledge of HTML code or CSS or any other coding languages. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to luisserrano.us forward slash manage and click enter. So put that in your address bar in your browser window. So that's luisserrano.us forward slash manage and you'll be brought to the login screen. Enter the username and the password provided and then click submit. And then you'll be brought to your dashboard. And within your dashboard, you have basically three elements that you can um, edit. It's going to be your contact page, your bio page, and your resume. The photos and the slideshows are on a different management system. So there's two management systems. One for the actual writing content aspect, and then another for the slideshow. And in the next video, we'll go through the slideshow. So if you wanted to edit your bio per se, so once you're in here, you'll see contact bio resume. And then on the left hand side, you will see manage content, manage users, website options. Uh, you probably won't have to worry about any of these. Probably you'll be doing small changes, if anything. So you will be changing these three pages that are present, which is contact bio and resume. So if we want to change the bio and add some content to the bio, we're going to click on the bio name. And then you'll be brought to a what you see is what you get edit. And basically that allows you to edit content and it will show up on the website. So we've got the photo already in there. And the way we get a photo in there, if we click return, is you're going to click on the little photo icon right here where my cursor is right now and when you roll over each one of these if you let it the cursor sit there for a second it will give you a title of what that particular icon controls so if we want to add another image to this we'll click the image and you click the little folder here and that allow you to go to the browser to be able to upload it so you browse and we'll just find something on the computer here and click open and then click upload. And now it's uploaded. Once it's up there, you click OK. And now you see that it's uploaded to the site. You can add a title if you want, but you don't need to. And then alignment. And alignment basically is going to be where it's going to sit on the page. So if you want it to sit on the left hand side and have text wrap around it, you would click, you would go to left. If you want it on the right hand side and have text wrap around it, you click right. Uh, the rest of the options here really won't concern you too much. You can play around with any of them. Everything's reversible in this. So if you by accident put something out of alignment, you can go back and delete it or change it. So for this, we're just gonna have the picture be centered or in the apps and have no text wrapping basically. You can also choose a border style here. So you click on border and you have border options. So we'll select that border and then we'll have it one pixel wide. And then in this column, you can decide if you want it wrapped around the entire photo or image or just the side of it. And then you can pick your color. So we'll just pick a gray for right now and you click OK. And don't worry about width or height and click insert. And now we have the image in there. And now we'll add some text. So we'll add some text. And let's say we want to make that text bold. We'll go up here, you highlight it and you can click bold. And we also want to make this a link to somewhere. So we'll go up to here. And there's a little chain link, and that means hyperlink. So we'll click that. And then that will allow you to put in a domain that you'd like to link to. So first you're going to select the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, then enter the domain. I'll just put mine in there for right now. 
and then click insert and click OK. And now that text, that uh, link is in there. Don't worry about the color of the link. It's automatically controlled by uh, separate controls on the website. So this is just going to be, it's going to get close to it, but it's not going to be exact. So now that we've made all our changes, we're going to scroll down and click Save. The data will be saved. And now we can go to the website and take a look at it. So if you click Go to Site, it'll take you to the site. And it'll take you to the home page. And then you can navigate to the particular page that you did. So we did File, and PHP. And you can, once this, once your page is in there and uploaded and it's live the new site when you click go to site it'll go immediately to your site and then you can just navigate to the page you changed so if we navigate to the page we changed you'll see that since we're logged in we get this little nice toolbar at the top and then we can see our changes in the window and then we see that there's the bold text that we added the link the image and the nice feature too is that you, instead of having to go back to the dashboard panel and navigate back to the page, if you see something wrong, you can immediately click the edit button and it'll take you to that page to edit. So let's say we wanted to get rid of the image, click delete, and everything looks good and we'll click save and go back to the site. navigate to the page and now we see the image is gone and we now want to get rid of that link as well so we'll click edit again get rid of that text save data is being saved and then you're good to go you probably don't want to delete any pages but if you do it's going to be on the right hand side and it's a little X and the pencil means edit. So you can either click on the name or you can click on the little pencil. To add new content, you can click add new content, but it needs to be configured as well into the site. So right now, these are the only three pages that are included into the site. So basically that is the content management system, pretty simple. And if you ever get stuck, there's documentation as soon as you log in. And if you click on documentation, it'll open in a pop-up window and it'll give you all the documentation you need for the content management system and how it works. This one's taking a little bit to load, but that's where it'll load. So that's an overview of the content management system. And if you have any questions, give me a call or email me and I can help walk you through it.